to play in rural sports? How do we get more minorities in the door? How do we get people who think of, of fitness as this, like, I have to lift weights, I have to run, I have to do it this way because that's what I see in movies. How do we get those people in the door? How do we empower them to feel like this is their space? These are all things that add, when you're on shift, you're like, God, I'm so bored. Look around. You may see something in a different way than how I see it, or Emmanuel, or Diana. You may meet a patron who might change your opinion or your thought process on why it is we do what we do. We had a kid email, uh, we got our first complaint submission through our website the other day. I was super excited. <laughs> he, sent a, he sent a complaint that we moved the weight scale. He was very upset about that. And in my head, I was like, well, I've had this conversation with Emmanuel, and you know what, we don't care about weight scales. Because Emmanuel and I feel that if you're in here, you're in here for, for other reasons, you don't need a weight scale. If you feel better, then you're meeting your goals. But I got this, and I was like, you know what, that really is our perspective, and it's our preference. Some people do, just they need a weight scale. So I emailed him back within about five minutes of him submitting, and I said, hey, man, I'm really sorry, we'll get back out there, blah, blah, blah. He emailed me back later that afternoon, about seven hours later, he was like, hey, I think he's not expecting an email back. He's like, I wasn't expecting any communication, much less like this quickly. I really appreciate it, thank you so much. And then he went on for two paragraphs talking about how he's used our facility so much since we opened, he's lost 40 pounds, that he loves coming here, that this has been like one of the best experiences. He raved about how great our students have been. And my response, and I, even, and I CC Bryce in the morning, I was just like, dude, that is amazing. Like, can we, can we meet you? Can, we, can I meet you face to face? Can we sit down and have a conversation? Because it's that type of stuff that you, that you don't even realize is happening. Yeah, you're cleaning equipment. Are you really helping somebody lose weight? Or are you helping them be healthy? You're helping them be healthier. You're helping them be safer. You may not see that little difference right there, but you are empowering them to make the decisions that are better for them. Right? How can we I'm going to wrap this up as soon as Cindy gets here. How can we, as a, as a professional staff, how can we empower you as our employees? This is a real question. How can we give you more opportunities to, to, to guide us? How many of you feel like we already give you a lot of opportunities? Okay, a handful. Okay. How can we do better? You're brand new, but I know you've been here because I've seen you in using the space. How can we do better? How can we empower you? Now that you're an employee, how can you make a difference? I mean, do y'all have a system set up on, like, um, if, do you see somewhere we can improve on, like, that we can let you know? Like, is there an email, or how are we doing? do I talk to you? I think we're using the word now. Can we be better at how we get ideas from y'all? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. <laughs> Do you have a question? Do y'all have a way that patrons can suggest things? So that comment, it's not just a complaint form, it's a suggestion comment. Okay. But I, the first couple weeks we were open, if y'all were here, do you remember we had y'all walking around asking questions? We can continue to do that. Alright? Um, so Cindy's here, so I'm going to wrap this up real fast. I am so excited about this semester. Y'all have no idea. It's like every year I, I, I get this same like, Woo! Here we go, baby! And then about February 1st, you're going to see me go like, holy shit. <laughs> oh my god, first two weeks. <laughs> so much ever. All right. The first couple weeks of school are going to be super busy. Y'all shut your shit down. Every semester, this is how it's going to be. The first two weeks, we're going to be slammed. You're going to see people you've never seen before. You're going to see people you've never seen again. How can you, in that one time that they may come here, how can you make a difference? How can you make, it make even just a slight connection to have them come back and let them know that, hey, I see you. Hey, I, I know that you're here. Hey, I know what you're going through. Look for people who have the like the deer in the headlights look when they get on the floor like that. And if that happens, go like, hey, what's going on, man? I'm Brian. Um, is there anything I can show you? What are you trying to, what are you trying to do today? Can I help you get swole? All right, cool. Look, well, walk with me this way, and then I'm going to convince him that he's not getting swole. <laughs> um, but, but you have to have the critical eye. You've got to be able to look around and not just see what's happening, but really see what's happening. Yeah. All right? Yeah. Also, celebrate the fact that we've got every, everybody's in school. Black, white, every shade of brown, male, female, straight, gay. It's awesome. This is like the most beautiful place on campus. All right? So every now and then you just sit back and go like, cool. 
because we don't do that enough. Right? Okay, so I'm gonna. She here? All right, so I'm gonna introduce. Coming into the room, we have from the Counseling Services Center, Dr. Lou and Dr. Kimberly. 